Hey, Robert, good morning. Yes, Justice Ginsburg, she sure made her mark on history, and today will be no different. It's been 90 years since a Supreme Court justice lied in state here at the U.S. Capitol. And as you mentioned, today Ginsburg will be the first woman to be given that honor. Now, back in 2005, Rosa Parks lied in honor at the U.S. Capitol, but it is a bit different because she is not a government official. Now, at this point, for all of you at home, all public viewing opportunities are finished. Ginsburg casket is set to be carried into Statuary Hall just before 10 this morning, followed by a private memorial ceremony. Today will be for her family and invited guests only, including some members of the House and Senate. We expect music from her favorite opera singer and a reflection read by a rabbi here in D.C. Now, later, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, is expected to be joined by women members of the 116th Congress to pay their respects. Leading up today, we have seen two days full of thousands of people flocking to the Supreme Court to honor the legal legend. A lot of them just really wanting to share their stories about what she means to them and the impact she had on their lives. My very existence in this city is widely contributed to her and the groundbreaking work that she did, both as a law student, a lawyer, and then a judge. And I owe her everything basically, and I think we all owe her a lot more than what we realize right now.